you, when you look at some of the best teams in history, they will take care of the signal callers. They'll take care of the safeties. They'll take care of the middle linebackers. And they will make what I like to call age allowances for those positions. Typically, how many times would you see uh, an organization kind of like waver over committing this kind of money to someone who's going to be 30 heading into next year? But this is, those are the two positions, Mike Linebacker and safety, where you allow for some athletic decline. And I'm not saying Cam's declining it in any way, shape, or form. Make him on this, on this show and knock me out. You know, this, <laughs> right. this guy is a monster now. But that's where you allow for some athletic decline because the cerebral part of the game is such a big part of it. And this guy is the best, one of the best that there is. But this speaks to a bigger concept, I think, that Seattle is doing. And they are building their team basically from back to front. Yeah. which is a very unusual move. They have so much money, Lewis, committed now to that secondary. Yeah. How does that hinder them, perchance, to help other areas of this team that are in real need, like specifically that offensive line? Well, sure, exactly. I mean, it's how you slice up that pie, so to speak, as far as your cap dollars are concerned. And if you're going to pay, you're going to put an inordinate amount in one position, then you're going to have to skimp a little bit somewhere else.